every matrix implements a linear transformation. But can we find a matrix for every linear transformation? Is it difficult? And how can we do that? And why? Let us start with the last question. If we can find a matrix for linear transformation, we can easily do computations involving this particular transformation because matrix computations are relatively easy to do. So this matrix of a linear transformation will help us. Fortunately, it is not difficult, as you will learn in this video. You will also see how you can do this. And the first question, can it be done for every linear transformation? I will leave that question open for discussion on the forum below. Let us look at the transformation T from R2 to Rn. So we take a R2 here first instead of an Rn just to uh, limit the uh, number of factors that we need to write. If you know how to do it for R2, you also know how to do it for R3 and R4. So we go from R2 to Rm. And suppose I know the images of E1 and E2, which are some factors V1 and V2 in Rm. Now we want to find a matrix AT such that the image of X equals AT times X for any factor X. How can we do that? Well, we write X equals X1, X2 for arbitrary numbers X1 and X2 and R. We write it in X1, 0 plus 0, X1, 2, just like this. And then we can take out the X1 and the X2s as this. And then we see here we have gotten E1 and here we have gotten an E2. So we can write an arbitrary X as X1 times E1 plus X2 times E2. And now we can compute the image of x, t of x, equals the t of x1 e1 plus x2 e2. Then you use the linearity, so you spread up the t of x1 e1 plus x2 e2 equals the t of x1 e1 plus the t of x2 e2. And then you can take the scalars in front, so x1 times the t of e1 plus x2 times the t of e2. There we are. And that's exactly what was given over here. You know the t of e1 and the t of e2. So you know that t of x equals x1 times t of e1 equals v1 plus x2 times the t of e2, which equals v2, so plus x2 v2. So there we have the t, the image of a general x given in terms of v1 and v2. Now you see this t of x over here, you see a matrix times a vector, namely the matrix consisting of v1 and v2 times the vector consisting of x1 and x2. If you don't see it straight away, go the other way. If you use over here matrix times vector, you get x1 times v1 plus x times 2 times v2, which is exactly what is written there. So t of x equals a matrix consisting of v1 and v2 times a vector containing x1 and x2. But the vector containing x1 and x2 was exactly the same as our original vector x over here. So t of x equals matrix is v1 and v2 times x. So our t of x is a matrix a t of x times x, where a t consists of the vectors v1 and v2. But what are these vectors? Well, these vectors are the images of E1 and E2. So I find the matrix AT by putting T of E1 and T of E2 as columns in a matrix. So if we know the T of E1 and the T of E2, we can find the matrix AT. We only have to place them in two columns, and that's the way we get a matrix. Well, more general, if you have a transformation from Rn to Rm, you have E1 up till En. And you put t of e1 in the first column of a, t of e2 in the second column, until t of en in the last column. And that's how you find your at, your matrix of the transformation t. That's an example. We have a t from r2 to r3, linear transformation. t of 1, 0 equals 2, 3, 4. And t of 0, 1 equals 4, 2, 3. How can we find the matrix? Well, it's easy. We have a 3 by 2 matrix, and we have to put here 
the t of e1 is first column, t of e2 is the second column. Well, the t of e1 equals 2, 3, 4, and the t of e2 equals 4, 3, 2. So, there we go. There we have the standard matrix of this linear transformation. So, as you see, it's not so difficult at all to find the standard matrix of a linear transformation.